In this video, we're going to be covering Huffman coding. Our main objective is to be able to understand how we can answer exam related questions on this topic. Now, Huffman coding is a form of lossless compression. When you compress data using a lossless compression method, no data is lost. This means that when the file is uncompressed, it is restored exactly as it was. This makes it ideal for compressing text files. Now, before we look at the method for compressing text using the Huffman encoding method, we first need to remind ourselves how we can work out the file size of a piece of text. Now, this will be different depending on whether or not you use extended ASCII, 7-bit ASCII, or 11-bit Unicode. If we're using 7-bit ASCII, we work out the frequency of all the characters inside of the text, and then we times it by the amount of bits used to represent each character. So if we're using 7-bit ASCII, there's seven characters in the word because, each character is represented with seven bits, which makes our file size for this word 49 bits. If we're using 8-bit extended ASCII, again, there are seven characters in the word because, each character is represented with eight bits of binary, seven times eight gives us 56 bits in total. And if we're using Unicode, we times the frequency by 16 because each character is represented with 16 bits of binary, this would give us a file size of 112 bits. Now, when you're answering questions on Huffman coding in exams, you will not be asked to create a Huffman tree. You will, however, be asked to interpret one. Here's an example of a Huffman tree. The first thing you would do in an exam or when you're answering questions is label each node in the right values. All of the left nodes will be represented as zero. All of the right nodes will be represented as one. This is demonstrated in the example in front of you. Now, we're gonna be looking at how we can use Huffman trees to compress text. Um, we're gonna be looking at how many bits specifically you can save when you compress the word because. We're using 7-bit ASCII to work out the original file size of the word. So the original file size will be 49 bits to represent the word because. In the Huffman encoding process, the first thing you will need to do is work out the frequency of all of the characters in the word because. There's one B in the word because, two E's, one C, one A, one U, and one S. After you do this, you then need to work out the new bit patterns for these letters. To do this, you use the Huffman tree. The letter B is now represented as 0, 1, 0. This is because you start from the top of the tree and you work your way down the nodes until you get to the word or the letter B. 0, 1, 0 represents B. E is now represented as 0, 0. C is represented as 0, 1, 1. A is represented as 1, 0, 0 u is represented as 1, 0, 1, and s is represented as 1, 1. This now means instead of using 7 bits to represent each character, we are now using 3 bits to represent all of the b's, 2 bits to represent all of the c's, 3 bits to represent all of the c's, 3 bits to represent all of the a's, 3 bits to represent u's, and 2 bits to represent all the s's. To work out the compressed file size now, we now times the number of bits that we've just worked out to represent the characters by the amount of characters there are in the word because. So in because there's one B, each of the characters are now represented with three bits. This gives us a total file size of three bits for all of the Bs that are used in the word because. There are two E's in the word because. Each B is represented with now two bits of binary. This now means we're using a total of four bits to represent all of the E's in the word because. You then repeat this process for all of the characters in the word because. To work out the total file size now of the compressed word, we add all of the bits together here, which gives us 18 bits when the file is compressed. So the word because, because that is compressed using a Huffman tree is now represented using 18 bits of binary. To work out how much data we have saved, we subtract the original file size by the compressed file size. So if we're doing that with the word because, B 
because it has an original file size of 49 bits, the compressed file size is 18 bits. We do 49, take away 18, that gives us 31 bits saved.